It is our final day here in New Orleans. We have spent the last few days here checking out the city and all it has to offer. And I thought before we would go, it'd be good if we did six things you need to do when you come to New Orleans that we at least recommend because we've had a blast and I think you guys will have a blast if you're coming here. But before we get to that, I just want to let you know that I recently dropped a New Orleans food video where I try some of the area's most famous dishes and it's linked in the description box and in the comments below. I definitely recommend checking it out. So the first thing on our list is Bourbon Street in the French Quarter. Now you need to go to both French Quarter and Bourbon Street because at night Bourbon Street lights up. It's the place to be here in the city, but also the French Quarter is just a beautiful place to walk around. There's tons of shops and restaurants and bars to eat at. The architecture is absolutely beautiful, but you don't want to miss either of these places. And Bourbon Street is actually in French Quarter, so that's why we combine them together. You can see now it's only like 6 p.m., but it is already bumping. People just out getting drinks, walking around. Around, drinking their hand grenades or daiquiris. It's a fun time. Now the next thing you should do when you're in New Orleans visiting is check out the National World War II Museum. This museum is regularly voted one of the best museums not just in the United States of America but also in the world. It is a massive museum. You can spend all day there. It covers D-Day, it covers the Pacific Theater, it covers the Eastern Front. And of course World War II applies to basically everybody in this world. So whether you're you know, a visitor of coming to the United States or you live in the United States, it is the perfect place to check out while you're here in New Orleans. So with the red beans and rice. And let the record show, I did order jambalaya. I've got a short rib po' boy here. Now the next thing you gotta do when you come to New Orleans is eat the food. This city has a rich food culture and for a fat guy like me, that is heaven. From the beignets to the jambalaya, the food here is absolutely incredible. I've been eating as much as I can the entire time we've been here. I've had the red beans and rice, I've had the jambalaya, I've had the beignets at Cafe Du Monde. The food is absolutely incredible, cannot recommend it enough and if you don't have the food while you're here if you don't take advantage of it you're doing the city a disservice you really are right, here we go <laughs> so another thing you need to do when you're in New Orleans is you ought to go to the voodoo museum it's right behind me but it's a very small museum it's called one of the best small museums in America it's only two rooms but it's packed full with all these artifacts related to the history of voodoo and it's a really good place to actually learn the history of the voodoo culture and religion um, apart from kind of the rumors that you hear about it when you're coming to New Orleans so it's a really good place to kind of get your facts straight and learn what it actually is and what it's really about so right here someone's buried in a, in a grave right there and there and there and there. Next up, one of Holly's favorite things to do when traveling, visiting old cemeteries. And New Orleans cemeteries do not disappoint. The cemeteries are very historic, very old. They have a lot of famous people buried in them. They date back to the 1700s and the 1800s. And they're very unique also because they're all above ground uh, because if they had uh, the bodies below ground, they would have floated upwards because of where New Orleans is located. So it's very interesting to go to, walk around. It doesn't take much time and it's free. It's interesting how people have left little stuff like some of it's like mementos that kind of make sense for a family member but some of it's kind of like doesn't make sense it's almost like an offering like there's I saw a couple with like money on them and things like that which is interesting money yeah well we can get rich I'm just kidding never take something from a cemetery <laughs> never now who believes in ghosts <laughs> all, right, all right, some people start to think about the cost of the wristband and we're like, well, I guess, well, maybe. I'm not the one who signed up for a ghost tour tonight, y'all are. So one of the things you have to do when you come to New Orleans is you have to take a ghost tour. These are really fun and it's a great chance to learn a little bit about the history of the city because the city does have a lot of heritage that's related to ghosts and vampires and spooky things like that. So last night we took one that started here at the Voodoo Lounge and it made a couple stops after uh, starting here and it was by the French Quarter Phantoms tour group. So check them out there'll be a link below um, but one of the things that ours did is it took us around to these historic spots and one of the places was a murder mansion that is featured on American Horror Story so if you like that show this is definitely something you want to check out um, and it's just a good time it's not too spooky it's good for a lot of laughs and you can drink on the tour so it's definitely something I recommend Speaking of that murder mansion, here's a bonus thing to do in New Orleans. So we've shown you a lot of spooky things about New Orleans that you need to check out, but we're ending with the spookiest. 
It's the, I'm gonna butcher this, but I think it's the La Lurie Mansion, and it is a murder house that is famous in New Orleans. It's famous throughout history. If you know um, American Horror Story, you're familiar with it, but basically it's the house of a wealthy woman and her husband, and she was known for torturing her slaves and killing quite a lot of them in very grisly manners. This is a great place to go. It's on just about every kind of ghost tour that you can book here, and you come here, and it's definitely after dark. There's a certain vibe in the air. It gets real spooky and everything. You kind of think you might see something in the windows. It's been owned by a lot of famous people over time uh, that haven't owned it for very long. Nicolas Cage owned it for a while. But everybody seems to get rid of it after about five years or so because just things happen and it's not quite kosher. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. For more on our trip to New Orleans, check the description box below. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And if you're new here, consider subscribing for more travel videos.